Since we're together, we might as well say, Will you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you please? Won't you please? Please won't you be my neighbor? Hi neighbor, welcome to TR3 Wrench Time. Hey, welcome back to TR3 Wrench Time, uh, actually back to the Lambretta project. So um, what I have learned is I will not be painting the Triumph. Um, today we are actually going to be mixing paint and going through um, painting the body and hopefully the body panels, both the white and the red. Uh, so one thing we have to do first is we've got to wet sand down the primer just very lightly just to scuff it. Uh, we don't want to take material, that much material off of it anyway. I know this is not supposed to be done outside, but I don't have the facilities to do this. I don't really, really want to convert my garage into a paint booth. Um, I don't have the PPE. I feel that I need to do this inside. So we're going to do this with the best respirator. I've got uh, P100 cartridges for my mask. Uh, that's supposed to filter out any oil-based particulates. Um, we'll see. I also got a, a suit to put on. I'm probably overkilling this, but I don't really don't like these chemicals and I really don't want to mess with this stuff. So we're going to, we're going to do the best we can with what we've got. We're going to do it outside. Uh, so I'm going to blow all this stuff off with compressed air. Um, I'm going to sand it. Then we're going to mix some paint for the first time. I've never mixed paint before. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, we've got this, these little mixing buckets that have, um, like a graduated scale on the side of it that makes it should make it really easy to do. Um, uh, and then we've got a uh, high volume, low pressure paint gun that we borrowed from our shop, uh, Steve from the shop. So we're going to do that for the first time. Never used a spray gun before. So <laughs> we're going to see how this turns out. I'm not too thrilled with the look of the pieces so far. You can see some of the texture, not texture is the wrong word, but um, like the wire brush left kind of brush marks. It almost looks like the side of the DeLorean. Um, and you can still see that kind of through the primer on some of the pieces. So e either I didn't sand it well and I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So I think it's going to look better than it did when we got it. Uh, you'll have seen pictures of it so far. I mean, it really uh, had been kind of, you know, spray painted a couple times throughout the years and had a lot of material on it um, and stuff. So I think we're going to make it look better than it did before. It's not going to be perfect. Um, so anyway, uh, this is for my wife to ride. Uh, she's excited about it and, uh, and we'll hopefully make it, uh, make it a little bit better and see how this goes. So anyway, let's get to sanding. All right, it's time, to, uh, it's time to get started here with paint mixing. The sun has reached its spot where it's going to do us the most good, so uh, let's go ahead and get some paint going on these panels. So a few things we got to get worked out here. Uh, this mixture is uh, four parts paint, one part hardener, and two parts reducer. So how that works, so we got this busket here. I got a busket. Give me a dollar. A busket. And we are going to fill the paint first up to probably four or five. And then we are going to put the one part hardener in and fill that up to the next number, the next match the number. So if we fill paint up to here, we go hardener to here, and then we go reducer to here. And that gives us the proper ratio. Saying hi. We gotta set our air pressure between seven and 10 PSI. All right, that's, that's about 10.
Okay, we're gonna get started here. Would you stop complaining? Okay, that didn't go according to plan. <laughs> That's not red. That's salmon. It's supposed to be red. All right, so uh, I'm gonna have to figure out what went wrong with the color here. This is not red. This is salmon. Um, I don't know if I fucked up mixing it or if I got the wrong color or what happened, um, but I'm gonna have to figure this out because. Uh, the scooter looks too good in the correct colors to, to not make this right. So there's only four pieces here that we have to do um, to redo. So unfortunately, these were the hardest to, uh, to prep. So we'll see, maybe we can just spray uh, primer over this after it dries and, uh, and start again. Um, anyway, uh, we're gonna have to wait, this is the weekend, we're gonna have to wait till the, to mid or Monday to go back to the uh, paint supply place and and get some uh, get some instruction on either did did we did I do something wrong did they do something wrong uh, figure out what what's going on here. Hey, welcome back. It is now Monday, Monday morning, and we are headed back up to Finish Masters to uh, <laughs> to get red paint. Um, yeah, we kind of failed at that before. Uh, full disclosure, I'm colorblind, so when I was spraying those panels. On there I knew it didn't look quite right but I didn't really know how bad it was and I kind of figured maybe it would it would dry darker I don't know why I thought that um, maybe that's a thing maybe that's not I don't know uh, but when I cracked open the uh, just the actual pigment um, it was salmon so uh, definitely not red um, Jen was uh, intrepid and found the Lambretta USA Club uh, that had the PPG formula for the uh, the 65 is I think what we're looking at 1965 Lambretta red. So we armed with that, we are going to go back up to Finish Master and Finish Masters and uh, give them that and see if they can mix that for us and uh, and then get these get these uh, red panels painted. And then we can start putting this thing back together.
Okay, we're back from Finish Masters and uh, we have rectified our red paint situation. We now have a Mitsubishi color that we picked from Paint Chips. Um, pure red. Um, it is red. I promise this is red and not salmon. A comparison of Paint Chips uh, are dipsticks here. So this is dipped directly into the paint can uh, that we got last week. This is from this morning. This is red. So, now we begin the process of uh, getting the finish on the ones that we painted salmon back down to scuff. And um, in the process, we're gonna, there, there was some errors that, that I did with just runny paint and just terrible technique that we're gonna fix uh, and then get these pieces ready to be painted. And then we'll mix the paint for the instructions with the little pails and we will do this again. So here we go. after a ton of sanding and uh, taking all of the runniness out uh, of these of the white panels um, they have been resprayed and they are drying now and looks pretty good it's still not perfect uh, the paint is still a little runny I don't know if that's because of my mixing of it if I'm not using enough hardener or if I'm using too much reducer I don't know I'm using the buckets I don't know uh, why it's so flipping runny on the red parts, still runny, um, at least it's red now, so um, so we will put those, we'll probably sand those down a little bit and, and maybe do another another batch and do a touch up respray on, on the real runny parts. And then we're going to put this fucking thing back together and, uh, and ride it. So, uh, so stay tuned, uh, part three will be reassembly and uh and writing it for the first time so uh i hope you enjoyed my uh learning that i'm not going to paint the triumph just pay somebody just pay somebody to paint whatever it is you want to paint trust me oh like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time on tr3 wrench time